Okay, let's go with the next example. Here I have prepared a series of interface components to make a digital product and I'm going to assemble my dashboard. As you can see, these components are already using a type of layout. Some are using flex because they are simpler components that use only one direction and others are a little more complex like this content card in which elements coexist in position, flex column and also an image gallery that is a grid okay as you can see despite being combined element uh, it works and adapts perfectly okay so i'm going to create a new board of this size more or less i'm going to call it um, dashboard and i'm going to add my grid i can do it from the sidebar as we have seen before or using the command ctrl shift a so here I have my grid. I'm going to edit a little bit because it's not worth to have the two side. I'm going to change my sidebar to a width of 600 pixels. The content does not need to be so much. I'm going to add a new one, other for 400 pixels, where it's no little, maybe five, 500. And this is what I want to adapt the content so far I have to use automatic measures or fraction as we have said before I can uh, write it by hand or uh, from the side I'm going to use a unit okay one fraction I want to generate my complete columns from my sidebar which one of these cells uh, here I adapt a little bit the size of the content and it would be more or less ready Okay, I can start dragging the elements inside and then we will make some more adjustment. For example, I can name areas. I know that my sidebar is going to go here. I can be prepared that this is going to be my, okay, I also prepare that this is my information, player information and leave the central cell reserved for the content. These are only levels that I put to know where each information is going, okay? I drag my sidebar, as you can see, I have selected, I tell it to occupy 100% being a flex element, it, it adapts automatically. I add the rest of the information to the other sidebar and as you can see it also adapts automatically and the content i also tell it to take advantage of all the size it has as everything is flexible it adapts to the container in this case the cells okay and finally the events i'm going to put it down here also occupying the width well as you can see everything is a bit right a bit tight right let's fix that the first thing I'm going to do is give it a little bit of error from that I'm going to edit the grid I'm going to tell I have separation between elements and also certain margin on the sides in such a way and I separate the elements as you can see if I modify the side of my board it is prepared to occupy the cell it adapts automatically I'm going to change okay the size well, perfect. I'm going to change the color a little bit because I actually see it, so, you know, put like this in blue. Mm -hmm. I want, for example, yeah, the separation. Okay, I'm going to double it to 60. Despite being agreed, the behavior, I can tell it to adapt the content and embrace it completely, okay? I would already have my dashboard mounted.